Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Justice Emmanuel Akwa and this is Mr. J Graphics. On today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to design this invitation card. Uh, at every, every invitation card that I design, I normally design it in a, in a, in a landscape form. But this one, I decided to do it in the portrait form. So let's jump right into the video and I'm show you how I started all this for the start. So let's go ahead and create a size. Now I'm going to create my size for this work. So I'm going to use, this is going to be 4.33. And then 6.55 should I do it this way yeah okay so this is going to be my size and I'm going to I'll go for my rectangle I'm going to draw a shape to cover the whole background and now I'm going to change the color to black something like that okay so once this is done I'm going to lock it because I don't want to distract me. Now I'll go for this. Uh, this is my frame right here. I'll go for the frame. And place this on top like that. And I'll press Control A. And then use the center alignment like that. Okay, now I'm going to lock it. After locking it, I'm going to I'll go for I'll go for this downloaded frame right here and I'm going to place that right here. Okay, now the inside I just created a circle, all right? So I'll go for my um, eclipse tool. Then I'm going to draw a circle like that just draw a circle a circle like this now i'm going to increase the size like that Okay, now I'm going to change the color inside. Just click on this thumbnail right here and make it white. No, it's a kind of gray color, something like that. Okay, because the man is wearing, is putting on white. So yeah, there's a white. So I just drag the picture inside of these. And now when I go here, I'm going to hold your alt key and then put place your pointer um your mouse pointer here so this means when you see the arrow there it means creating clipping mask or better still you can right click and then create clipping mask so just go in there like that very simple and beautiful okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to type funeral invitation um uh, funeral invitation so uh let's check the font that we use uh hard work free hard work free that's the font so let's use funeral uh oh funeral Funeral invitation, invitation, right, so here you go, funeral invitation and you type it right there, now let's check the color, um, the color right there, so let's check the yellowish colors that I use in there, so the first one um, is the code. 
can use that same time can use choose to use the code right there now this one to you know this is the code right here so you can use the code there but um, I'm going to copy this you know I've told you that in Photoshop you can easily copy effects so you just right click and you're going to see copy layer style so once you come here just come and right click any place right here then you paste layer style you paste it like that and it's going to work out for you all right so that's very simple so i'm going to divide the page into two so i'll go to view and then press i mean click on the new guide type 50 percent then you make sure everything is in the middle right now what again we are going to i'm going to create the age okay so um the age I draw a circle right here I draw a circle right there and after the circle you know I'm gonna use I use the same color of this all right the color here so if you can see the color in there is the same so I'm going to use the same color for all of these all right okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste the you know if you remember the the effect that i copy on the funa invitation text that is what i'm going to paste it here okay so right from here um what i'm going to do is i'm going to I'm going to open it double click on it to open and I'm going to I'm going to create double multiple color okay multiple color so I'll click on this and place it here click this one and place it here click this one paste 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 it here so it's going to be like a double color though is the same it's it's two colors but i'll make it in double colors all right so sorry about that so now after doing this i'm going to duplicate this circle control j after duplicating the circle, I'm going to reduce the first one like this. And now I'm going to take off, close, close the, you know, the gradient from there. And I'm going to change that to black. And after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the color again and then close, take hide the gradient okay then double click on the effect written over there and i'm going to create a stroke so once the stroke comes i'm going to use the gradient color okay so i'm going to i'm going to use the same color of these ones So I'm just trying to pick up any color right here and then this one is going to be a yellowish something like that so just pick any color any color right there so there are two um, I'm going to create a double color you know 
I'm going to create a double color. So this one will come here. This one will come here. You know what? You just click on them. You click. That is how Photoshop has been made. Okay. Whenever you click this color, you come and click here. This same color will appear here. If you click on this one, this same color will appear here. Okay. So that is how Photoshop was made up. Okay. So that is very simple like that. Okay, so now it's okay for me. Now I'm going to type in the age. The age is what? Okay, let's bring this one in. If you can see, there is kind of quite, you know, effect in there. So I'm going to create effect. It's not something um, confusable. It's, uh, I just use Eclipse tool. That is a circle. I just draw a circle in there. After I just create this circle and then I just created creeping mask. So we just right click on it. We are going to place this whole thing inside the circle. Okay. So we just right click on that and you create clipping mask. You can see it's in there. Then I'm going to change the color to kind of gray color, something like that. Okay. So now I'm going to bring in the age because I don't want to make the video too long. So that's why some places I'm making it short like that. Okay, so right from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the name right here. So I'm going to start from this and um, this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start with I'm going to start with the name. Uh, so I'm going to use this font. The font that I use, I use this autograph. So that is the same font I'm going to use. And then place it right here. So after this, I'm going to type, I'll go for this font, uh, this font called Hans, Hansen, and I'm going to type the name, Music licensing reimagined. You can actually divide your Photoshop. You can divide it. When you click, when you place the pointer here, just drag on this. You see, when you place it on this line, it will, the line will tend to be a blue color. Then you leave the mouse pointer. Okay. So you can actually see divide this, divide it into two. So now I'm going to, this is what we're actually doing right here. So I'm going to type the name, the name um, A-M-B-R-O-S-E, right? So that is the name. And then we're going to type the second one. The second one is D-Z-O, D-Z-O-R-K-P-E. Okay, so I'm going to make all of them in a caps letter. Just click on this CT here, and all of them will be caps lock. Um, I mean, this font, I use this um, Montserrat for this font. So let's use Montserrat for this font. Now I'm going to make this one too. So if you can see that, that's very cool and very nice. Now I'm going to uh, 
Let me make sure I place this one right here. Okay, now I'm going to copy the same color. So I'm using same colors, okay? So the color that I use, I'm going to just paste it. Just right click, paste this layer. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this one, paste the layer. So um, right after, I'm going to create, you see, if you can see there's, there's a shadow here, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to create a shadow for this one. I will create a shadow. I double click on the effect and I will just click on the shadow. Okay, so you can see the shadow right here is the same as this one right here. I'm going to place this one over here like that. Now I'm going to type in the, I'm going to type the late. So the late, the late. The late, so I'm using. I'm going to use Montserrat font, so just type Montserrat. You know, as a designer, sometimes uh, it's not even at times, every time you have to keep most of, I mean, especially fonts that you normally use in your words, you have to keep them in your head, all right. You have to keep them so that you can you can type them easily for your work okay now i'm going to create this shape right here this shape right here so i'll go for rectangle shape and now i'm going to start from this point to this point Okay, and afterward, I'm going to I'm going to curve the edges. After curving the edges, I'm going to remove the link. This is the link. You see, when you click on the link, all the four corners will will, will give you a curve. So I'll just take off. I want to take off the other the top edges and now i'm going to duplicate it Control j when you duplicate it then i i go back there and click on the link and then close this both of them then i'm going to I'm going to push this one up here just to make a line, all right? So I'll expand this to this end. Now I'll expand this one to, to this end. So right from here, this is what we are going to get. So I'm going to highlight both. Press Control E on my keyboard to merge it. You can see I've merged it. I've merged both of them and now this same color I'm going to use the same so I'll just right click and then paste like that I need to place it in the middle all of them should be in the middle all right so let me push this one to let it be. I'm I'm tracing the 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 ruler in the middle. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to going for funeral arrangement. So the funeral arrangement, um, you know, 
I don't want to make the video too long. So um, I'll type funeral. Music licensing. Funeral arrangement. Funeral. Funeral. Okay, so now funeral arrangement. Ah, uh, funeral arrangement are uh, as uh, as follows. Okay, then I'm going to scale it out. Now go back to I'll go back there. I'll go back. I'll go and click on double click on the gradient. And I'm going to make it the layer style. The gradient style. I'm going to use linear. Linear. Then I'm going to use the rotate the angle to this way. All right. Something like that. So I'm going to. Let me bring in my funeral arrangement because of the I mean I don't want to make a too long video so I'll put, place this one I'll just bring this one direct to this end like that because I don't want to make too long videos okay so this is okay now I'm going to Copy these. I'm going to bring this one out here like that. Then position this one too here like this. Okay. Then let me bring in the name. Right here. So yeah, I mean, this is going to be the end of this tutorial, guys. I know you've learned something amazing right there. Okay, so please do me a favor, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I just want to give shout outs to all the new subscribers. New subscribers, well, welcome to the family. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. God bless you.